you're watching News24 Live. Recently we showed you a video of remote jamming, an incident that happened in Greenpoint where a victim had her car remote jammed and her belongings stolen. Today we are down in Maitland at Autowiz where Gabe is going to show us a new device which they installed called Jam Alert, which alerts the driver that their car has in fact been remote jammed. Gabe, thank you very much for joining us today. Hi. Before you explain how your device works, just tell us about this scourge of remote jamming, exactly how crooks um, go about this. So what they do is they would use a garage remote or any other remote which works. The RF signal of the remote would essentially jam another RF signal for your vehicle's alarm. So when you depress your alarm thinking your car is locked, it actually isn't. We've decided to approach a few members of the public to show them just how easily they can be remote jammed. Okay, do you, do you mind locking your car, Roger? You see it's not working at all? No. And you would have, under normal circumstances, you would have walked away thinking that your car is locked. Yeah. So do you mind try locking it now? You see it works. Okay, so the way the remote system works is when we keep any other remote depressed for a certain period of time, and we try to lock the vehicle at the same time, we'll get a, a chirp to say that someone else has been using a remote to jam our current signal. Now, if we check, we tried locking the vehicle. The vehicle's not locked. However, if we had not had a sniffer or a remote uh, unit jamming our current signal, the car would have naturally locked. So, Every single time you do not have a, a jam alert device, you're going to have to check your vehicle to make sure that the vehicle is locked. Right, so your vehicle is open. Yes. So, so now try arming the, the alarm. You see nothing happens. Nothing the doors happens. don't lock. And, and you would have walked away thinking that the, that the car is locked. Do you want to go check, check your door? The vehicle is locked. It's open. It's open yeah. So if I, if I now remove my fingers from the remote and you try locking it now, it locks. locks. So it does work. <laughs> okay, then can you tell us uh, what kind of cost we're looking at? Uh, how exactly it's installed, where it's installed, and sort of how long installation takes? Um, Cost-wise, you're looking in the region of about 750 Rand. Um, approximately anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes. It's a simple installation. It's alive in earth. Um, it's got the unit itself has an antenna on it. The option for battery backup is available as well. And... It works on voltages. So in other words, when, when driving the vehicle, you, there's change in voltage. So the vehicle starts charging up. The unit sees that you're driving the vehicle. You switch the vehicle off. You then try to arm the vehicle. And if it sees another RF signal in the area, it would then send the jam signal. However, it would not happen all the time. It only happens after you switch the vehicle off and try to arm your vehicle. It would then start sniffing because it just it senses a change in, in voltage. And after the sniffing has taken place, and it sees another unit and it gives you four chirps. Uh, I've seen some footage in Johannesburg uh, of a couple of people that have been remotely jammed, yeah. And, and I've seen someone at a, at a center, at a shopping center. So it is scary. <laughs> Around, mostly in Belleville, actually, I know about a couple of guys that they say that's busy doing this now. Gabe, okay, and as we know, crooks are often uh, one step ahead of the game. Do you know of any incidences where they now have attempted to jam the jam alert. Not actually to date, we have had lots of success with the unit. Um, up until now, we haven't had any reports where the jammer has been jammed, no.